One of the most powerful things in life I'm finding as I get older and wiser is that the, the depth of human connection is really what makes life worth living. Um, you know, there are those moments in life where you look around and you see people who are close to you, your friends and, and family, and, and you realize that it's the, the connection with them that really brings that moment to life. So I, I use the example of being at an amazing concert. You know, you've seen your favorite band live. In my case, it's Above and Beyond. And the music is fantastic. It's great. And you're there with your friends who are also in the same space as you and enjoying it. And I'm fascinated by the process by which those people became your friends. How, how did that happen? Now, I've struggled with this a lot over my life. Um, particularly when I was younger, I had no idea how a friendship worked, what it meant to be close to, to other people in the, in the way that I mean there. And I've got a lot better at it. And I think partly it's, it's a process of being able to fully step into myself allows me to connect with other people where they are or who they are. And what I'm really pointing at here is, is that well-known quote by Timothy Leary, which is, find the others. And that's true. So in my example of being at the, the A and B gig, I was with the others. They were there with me at that concert. And for some reason, that's what made it work. Now, what I've always got stuck with in that example is, okay, cool, so find the others. How? How do I find the others? Where are they? And at this point, you might think, well, the, the internet um, and work and university and hobbies and that kind of thing. And yes, that is true to an extent, but it's very difficult for, for me to identify if other people are the others. Right? I don't know if I meet someone that will get on. There's a lot of kind of back and forth, and it, it, you often just don't get the kind of the connection that you're looking for. You don't know, oh, you're, you're a weird person like me. Cool, we can connect on our weirdness. So what I've learned is to reframe Timothy Leary's advice from find the others to let the others find you. And this is the big idea I want to talk about in this video. So let the others find you. What does that mean? Well, rather than seeing if I can find people who might resonate with me, I need to be broadcasting. I need to be sharing the stuff of myself that would have other people go, oh, he's one of the others. I should reach out to him. And that was game changing for me. And I think it's made my, my online experience, particularly in the last year on Twitter, um, much more powerful because I now have people around the world who are kind of like reaching out to me saying like, oh, I think we got on. Um, what, about, what if we work on this thing together? What if we collaborate? What if we jump on a Zoom call? All of that kind of thing. And I would never have found those people. Going a level deeper, I, I've been quite open up the fact that I'm teaching this design technique stuff online. And the whole intention behind that was for me to figure out what are the tangential topics related to this thing. So I have a domain of, of knowledge, of expertise. I am sure it intersects with other stuff. And I want to find out what those things are. But it's really difficult for me to go out into the world and find obscure Buddhist practices or bits of neuroscience or whatever that are held in the other silos of, of knowledge and other domains. It's very hard for me to go and find those. But if I start broadcasting the qualities, the, the felt experience, the, my ideas around Alexander Technique and people kind of drawn to it, then they reach out to me and say, oh, hey, this sounds a lot like this thing over here. And someone else say, oh, no, it's this thing over here. And slowly by doing that, I'm building up a big picture of what Alexander Technique is and how it interfaces with these things that I could never have found myself. And it happened. It's happening. It's fantastic. But the same applies to friends. And this is where the, the, the personal transformation element of let the others find you really kicks in. So in order to let the others find you. You have to become someone who is willing to share their unique weirdness in a way that others will see it and think, yes, this is, this is someone I can, I can relate to. This is someone I can be with, someone I want to get to know better. Because if you're putting out a facade of yourself, if you're putting out a projection of yourself, then what you're going to get back is people who either ignore you because it isn't authentic 
or people who are resonating with the projection of you. And they're not the others. You can find the others by sharing your core identity, your core self, the thing that is without you trying. And then the ones who come back to you are the ones who like you for the fact that you are yourself without trying. And it cascades from there because once what I found was now I've found a few of the others like this. By interacting with these people, it's unlocking further transformation in myself. I'm allowed to be myself even more and putting myself out there even more. And that's the flywheel that I'm, I'm interested in. So people talk about the flywheel of online business, right? It starts out slow, you make a few dollars, okay, you get some more class customers, you carry on, all great. And over time, it just gets faster and faster, you make money, you can quit your job and great. That's one flywheel, but this is also a flywheel of personal transformation. So you can, you can just keep being yourself more and more. People will keep finding you for yourself and the whole thing just compounds in that way. Now, that for me is one of the most powerful ideas that I've picked up in the last couple of years. Um, find the others is necessary but not sufficient, I found, of actually how to do it. So I'll leave it there. Um, I wrote an article on this, um, which I'll link to in the description below. So if you're interested, um, please go and have a look. Um, and if you are one of the others, um, please say hi.